Hi, this is your host, Pindu Bharatiya, and welcome to TFR Newsroom. And today we have with us once again, Rick Myers, Senior Director at Akamai. Rick, it's great to have you on the show. Great to be back, Swap. Yeah, this year, once again, Lenovo, which is part of Akamai now, won a lot of, you know, awards at this TV Awards, of course, including the People's Choice Award. So quickly, just tell us, you know, uh, what is the importance of this award? not only in you know tech industry but in many other industries it is one of the most coveted awards there so let's let's tell our viewers the importance of this award yeah the cb awards celebrate sales and customer support uh, across all types of industries across all types of uh, verticals we were considered against companies um, much bigger than ours much um, uh, more established and which with much bigger budgets and customer support teams than ours, um, which makes it really special that we've been able to do uh, so much, make such an impact for our customers um, at, at a uh, comparably smaller scale than a lot of the other folks who, who we were up against. What is the importance of this award for Linode Akamai's support team? It's always a special award for us every year that we've entered and competed and, and won. It, it's always meant a lot to our support team that uh, we can be recognized in the industry as a leader in the customer support space, since that was our intention when we built the company in the first place. It's especially special this year uh, because of the acquisition that we went through. So one of the fears that I think a lot of our, our customers had and um, uh, maybe even some folks internally had is that the things that made Linode really special would go away or that they would get overshadowed by um, by competing priorities. And this is recognition that they weren't. Uh, we were able to meet and exceed our, our standards for customer support through an acquisition. And I can tell you that we have all the tailwinds to continue to do that moving forward. We have 100% of the backing of Akamai to continue to be the best customer support team in the, in the industry. Once again, uh, thanks for that. Now let's talk about that. Uh, what are the categories that you know you won award? Which are the categories that you're like, hey, this is you know what was exciting, and then you're like, hey, we also you know won the in this category. Either you were expecting or not expecting, and you're like, this is really incredible for our team. And actually, as I said, you folks are kind of gold standard when it comes support. So it also helps other organizations, other industries. Hey, this is how we should do support. Number one award for us every year is that coveted People's Choice Award for customer support. We were able to win again this year, third time in the row in a row. That that award is so special to us because it's the one that goes into public voting. So the rest of the awards uh, throughout the Stevie Awards are voted on by a judges panel. Um, this one, the People's Choice Award, we go out. We uh, the Stevie Awards asks people to vote, ask the customers to cast their vote have their voice represented in the CV awards. And we won again, uh, again, for the third time in a row. That one will always be the most special to us. We also won the silver award for um, best customer support uh, in the computer services industry. That's a really special award to us too, because it's that overarching entire customer support um, uh, experience, that whole holistic view of the customer support at your company. Getting silver when we got bronze last year uh, is is really cool to us that we were able to improve and show the judges that we were able to improve. Thirdly, um, there's always very specific awards that uh, the, the Stevies puts out. And this year we were considered and we won a bronze for our training program. So we have a really special training program that we've talked about on uh, the show before and uh, to be recognized by the judges, to be able to have this very special, this very unique training program where we bring in folks from different industries who don't have uh, the background uh, in technical support that a lot of other companies require just as a baseline to get into the door. And being able to train those folks to help customers um, at the level that can win Stevie Awards is really great recognition to our training team and our commitment to, to training folks internally. Yes, you're absolutely right. We did talk about uh, the training, but since uh, we are talking about this award, so let's also uh, talk about, you know, 
because when we we reflect on that discussion and when we look at these awards, so so talk about uh, uh, the, the the training uh, that you folks have. What makes it so special that it even won an award there? The training program is so unique. We really haven't found um, an analog, which which was really exciting because when we we came to the conclusion that we had to create this training program, it was a brand new it was a brand new thing. You know, you go out into the industry and you look for analogs, you look for uh, folks that, that have done this successfully and we really couldn't find one. So we built it from the ground up to be able to train these folks to deliver exceptional customer support and a highly technical, a very technical um, uh, uh, field. Um, One of the things that we brought on last year, which I'm especially proud of is that we've, Uh, partnered with a local nonprofit called HopeWorks, which is designed to serve underprivileged youth uh, in Camden, South Jersey, and Philadelphia specifically to get them jobs in uh, this industry and others. We've actually worked with the trainers at HopeWorks to help us bring folks up to a baseline point where we can hire them as interns at Linode in customer support finish their training at Linode and then hire them as full-time employees at Linode. That's been such a, a a success for us, not only in the quality of the employees that we've gotten and increasing, you know, diversity of thought and diversity of background on our support team, which was already something that's super important to us, but another source of being able to do that, but also just being able to contribute to that community, to our community, to be able to help um, this nonprofit that we all feel very passionate about uh, has been a really big motivating factor to our training team and to the company as a whole also. All of these awards, you know, all of the discussion, they have no value without talking about uh, customers, right? Because that's what we are trying to do. We are serve them and then we are recognized for the for the work that we are doing for our customers. So talk a bit about what does this mean for, for customers and also how does this continue to encourage, inspire your team to further improve the experience for your customers and users? I think getting that, getting this achievement is that that once a year thing, if we can accomplish it, that uh, kind of wraps up, wraps up the year and is that extra boost. You know, it's like when, uh, when the, the rocket boosters in space have to adjust themselves and they have to kind of shoot all the rockets around 360 to, to orient itself. This is kind of that for us. So we don't, we don't fall into a slump and then have to get reboosted up by the Stevie Awards. It's that thing that happens every year that kind of realigns us, reconfirms that we're really good at what we're doing and also re-motivates us to go back out, continue to perform the next year and be able to get golds, silvers, uh, hopefully mostly gold and silvers the next year. Uh, for customers, they can see that because we we never stop, right? That getting a, a gold or a silver, an award or any kind of recognition, whether it's the CVs or something else, it's really important to not make that the conclusion of something, but rather just that accelerator that helps push you've even further. I think customers see that and for us, them getting us getting the uh, People's Choice Award tells us that, that customers do continue to see that because every year they're coming back out to vote for us as the best support in the industry. And, and that just feels so great to the customer support team and, and it, it's translating to customers, obviously. Of course, uh, when you talk about customer support, you're using the term V. It is a teamwork, but I also want to hear your own thought process, your own, you know, experience. When, uh, not experience, but your own kind of, kind of, you know, emotions when you win the award because you no, know, you have been running the show, uh, you know, leading the team there. So, what does it mean for you in, personally? I think the obvious answer is pride, right? Um, I'm not the person who's entering these awards. I'm not the person who is um, creating every policy, every customer decision. I'm not answering tickets. I'm not, um, I'm not the front line of this support team uh, anymore, right? We're too big for that. We have a much bigger customer support team. So from every layer, from myself to our, our senior managers, our managers, our 
our support leadership team down to the individuals on the support team, that has all cascaded and remained as we've grown, which is the hardest part about scaling a business, right? It's, you see it on, uh, on the macro scale, you know, a founder's vision, it gets diluted layer by layer by layer as more people come in, as other folks leave, that original kernel of an idea or a vision or a mission gets a little bit grayer, a little bit misconstrued, a little bit mistranslated. We've been able to maintain that core vision that we had at the beginning of Linode up until the Akamai acquisition and after, and every person on the customer support team maintains that. And that makes me very proud. Do you have any kind of, you know, message, something that you want to say to your team, not only for this achievement, but also to keep improving? I do. They've heard it so many times, but it's, uh, it's worth repeating never settle for good enough, right? Um, there's always a little bit more we can push for. There's always a little bit better that we can do. There's always a little bit beyond um, the the baseline expectation that we can get. Uh, and that's for customers on the surface, but it's really for us. That's the thing that helps me sleep at night. That's the thing that makes me feel satisfied when I get home. And I think that's true for our team as well. So keep pushing, keep doing what you're doing. It's, it's paying off and it's, it's worth it in the end. And as uh, the winner of some of these awards, what advice do you have for other organizations uh, so that they can also improve their own customer experience, which also means that you might see more competitors after listening to your own advice, but what advice you have uh, jokes apart for, so that companies can dedicate resources, and once again, motivate their teams to help their customers? I think the number one thing that's, that comes to mind is make sh- making sure you're seeing the forest from the trees or, or making sure that you have a holistic view of what what you're doing if if you hyper focus too closely on a metric or a situation or an initiative i feel like that's where we've gotten ourselves into trouble in the past um even um even to the point of slowing ourselves down right we talk about analysis analysis paralysis quite a bit make a decision execute measure iterate, improve. Um, Don't slow down, just get better at measuring and get better results out of iterating, understand what you're looking at and and look at it holistically, look at the big picture, make sure you're connecting things with your core values and your mission statement and make sure that you're connecting it back to that founder's kernel of an idea, right? Make sure that you're staying true to to that good idea. Wavering when you should, wavering when uh, it makes sense, but never lose sight of that bigger picture. Rick, thank you so much for taking time out today and uh, share great insight. Of course, congratulations on winning this award once again, but thanks for great sharing great insights, uh, advice, not just for teams, but also other organizations, how they can improve their experience for their customers. Uh, once again, uh, it was a pleasure talking to you and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you. Likewise, Swap. Thank you.